Hello doll collectors, enthusiasts, and creatives. I'm Kim. Welcome to my channel, The Dolls, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Today I'm unboxing a 2001 reproduction of the iconic 1971 Malibu Barbie. While I get her out of the box, let's reflect on the 1970s California fashion scene. I grew up in the 70s, so I remember the history and the style of that era, from Farrah Fawcett's hair to Marsha Brady's groovy outfits and Cheryl Teague's beachy charm. So the 1970s really marked a transformative time for fashion, especially in sunny California. From the laid back beach vibes to the disco glamour, that era saw a variety of trends that left an indelible mark on the fashion landscape. Farrah Fawcett's feathered hairstyle became an iconic symbol of the era, and her influence on fashion was undeniable. The 1970s also brought us Marsha Brady, and she reflected that sort of youthful, vibrant spirit of the time with her long, golden hair, barely any makeup on. She had a real beachy charm. And speaking of beachy charm, Cheryl Teagues was the epitome of the sun-soaked California look. Her modeling career and sun-kissed image made her a style icon, capturing the essence of the Malibu Barbie doll itself. In 1971, Mattel introduced the Malibu Barbie doll. This doll was designed to represent a more laid-back, beachy, and casual style that was popular in California's beach culture. Unboxing her really feels like stepping into a time machine because this is the doll that I played with when I was a kid, and she really influenced me throughout my life. And here she is, the star of the show, Malibu Barbie. Her sun-kissed hair, that iconic powder blue swimsuit, and the retro accessories make her a perfect homage to the original Malibu Barbie. Just like the original Malibu Barbie from the 1970s, this reproduction doll has that unmistakable sun-kissed tan, a wide smile, and long flowing hair. Her hair even has that signature straight style that was all the rage back in the day. And of course, we can't forget her eyes. This was the first Barbie who looked straight ahead. All the rest that came before her were giving side eye for 20 years. Barbie has always been marketed as a fashion doll and a role model for young girls. The straight ahead gaze might have been a deliberate choice to emphasize Barbie's versatility as a model for different styles and fashions rather than tying her appearance to a specific movement or message. I mean, I'd love to get behind the idea that this was some sort of, you know, gender acceptance. It was a, the 1970s was a period of cultural change including shifts in attitudes toward gender roles. So, you know, some people have uh, speculated that that could be the reason why, but, um, you know, I'm just curious, what do you think?
Thanks for watching this Barbie unboxing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay groovy. Bye.